Hey, my normies and my non-normies. It's April 11, 2.51 in the afternoon. And hi, normies. It's the Rico. Mommy, I'm in it. I can see you're in it, but I didn't invite you in it. Because I'm doing the podcast as well, boo-boo. I like to be in it. So, I don't even get to have. I don't even get to have my stuff to myself. As y'all can see, I have a copycat. She's been plucking my nerves since yesterday. Like, she really took me out of pocket yesterday. About three times. I almost forgot she was three years old and I turned around and wanted to just deck her. I wanted to deck her so bad. And I had to remember she was my child. That's one. Two, she was three. And then three, I was just going to end up regretting it. Like, if I did. So, I didn't. Did I want to? Two child. Ask me that question again. Did I want to? Did I want to? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Just like I want to right now because she won't stop. Hey. Because she thinks I'm playing and I'm not. Like I'm not, I'm not smiling. I'm not joking. I'm not laughing. There's no, nothing in my demeanor that says... Mom is in a playing, joking mood. Um, but yeah, she was what? So, anyways, I took a hiatus from everything, even checking social media and all that. Um, I took a hiatus from this place too. I even did a video for y'all to tell y'all that I was going to take a hiatus and forgot to post it. Yeah. So what was the point of actually recording it, right? It's still sitting on the laptop. Oh, Tootie Booty, you stink. Or did it call? No. Okay. Um. So, yeah. Please stop, Erica. So, yeah. It was, it was, it was no point in me recording it if I wasn't going to, um, uh, oh my god, I can't think right now, if I wasn't going to post it, but I did it because I was going to let y'all know, I didn't want to just, what? I didn't want to just, um, like, disappear for a couple of days. And then not say, like, where I was. or I even forgot to do the podcast live, which was definitely my fault. Because it was the day before I was picking up the, the rental. And for some reason, I guess my body and my mind decided it was going to crash. And I was, I was, I couldn't even make it out of bed. I couldn't move. Like, I was in so much pain. It was horrible. I was even thinking about canceling the rental and just doing it for another time. But then I thought about it. Uh -uh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I need off this property. I know for a fact that I need off this property. I'm falling into a depression. And I know that I am falling into a depression. And I can't let this depression kick in. If I let this depression kick in, I'm going to be stuck then I'm going to have serious, serious, serious problems. So, I have no choice. Oh, my neck. Mm. Oh, my neck. Sorry, but my body is just beat up. It is literally beat. Beat. I want my wheelchair to move. It is literally beat up. But, um, 
we all seen. I was like, I'm not gonna let the depression win. I can't. I can't. Like, I don't know. One, I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to get out of it. I don't know if it'll be possible for me to get out of it. Because I feel like every time I fall into one, it just gets deeper and deeper. And it takes longer and longer. And it's harder and harder. Um. Like, it's the thoughts that run through my head on a regular basis. In the middle of me joking and laughing and, and being happy, if y'all were to know some of these thoughts that run through my head, like, I'm literally in the moment enjoying, happy, like, laughing, ha, 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 joking, you know? Enjoying the moment, just, like, truly, 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 truly enjoying the moment. Why is the wheelchair not moving? Let it go. Open the door for your sister. Careful, baby. First, put it in the, in the wallet. Um, like I can't. I'm like, yo, I can't do this, man. I can't not let this happen. I can't let this happen because if I let this happen, like I said, I don't know how long it's gonna be. I definitely don't know how long it's gonna be. Like, I really don't know how long it's gonna be. I don't know how I'm going to be when I come out of it. Because sometimes you don't come out the same. Um, sometimes it takes a long time to get back to who you are. Um, diaper change! Oh, diaper change! Oh, like... You don't come out sometimes the same. So, I just know that I just came with that. And so, when we ended up getting a couple extra dollars, I was like, you know what? Beba, do you mind making me some hot coffee? When we ended up getting a couple of dollars, I was like, we can't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? On vacation. If I had good working legs, I could have. I could have taken us on vacation. Used the money that way. Went on a physical vacation somewhere. And did something. But because I require assistance of the wheelchair. You know, for the long distance walking. (laughs) Even some short distance walking. Like, some days walking, period. Um, I can't just run any old type of vehicle you know what I'm saying and just go like so taking a vacation like I would have been able to do in the past like I definitely would have been able to do in the past it was not going to be possible so the next best thing was rent a car just get off the property do something else see something different get actual light you know from off of sunlight from off of this property nowhere near, you know what I'm saying, this location, every time I get off the property, I always feel so much better, like, so much better, I get so much clarity, it's like, there's so much energy on this property, and it's not good energy at all, and it just, I can't take the weight, it's a lot of weight, it's a lot of weight, but anyways, um, not pushing my beliefs on nobody but I've stated before like my family is an empath and we are empaths and there's a lot of energy here on this property like for real sometimes I wake up because I feel like there's an extra energy in the room and I don't even know where the extra energy is coming from when it was only just the same four energies that was there from the time that I went to sleep mine and the other or like the dog or whoever else is in the room like 
but then I wake up feeling like there's an extra energy in the room with me, and I don't even know why or who. Um, that's like freaky. And then sometimes it doesn't even feel like it's a good energy either. It literally wakes me up out of my sleep because it makes me very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. And the moment I get off this property, I'll have the, the negative thoughts creep in. And when I say negative thoughts, I don't want to creep or scare anybody. Um, These thoughts always have run through my head. Like, all my life, I've always been suicidal um, in the back of my mind. Um, I've just been accustomed to it. Like, it's always been there. Um, the thoughts have always been there. Ideas have always been there. So, like, I remember one time in the past where I was driving with Stank. She, she was, like, I don't know, four days old five days old and in the middle of driving I was just like oh wonder if I actually just ran into the tree would it actually work you know would it definitely work and I'm in the middle of driving while I'm thinking this like dead ass you know what I'm saying and I'm driving with my baby in the back but the responsible mother in me that loves the hell out of my kids and that is so overprotective of my kids would never allow me to do any harm in any shape or form to my kids. And that includes a, um, intentionally doing something to myself that I know is going to harm them because it's going to hurt them deeply, if that makes sense. So, like... Before, like the day when everything happened on Father's Day. So the night before, I went to the emergency room. I went to, um, Fort Warwick, I think it was. Did I go there? Was it there? Was it Santero? Riverside. I went to Riverside first. And literally, I swear I was so discriminated. Like, I swear. I was, I was sent home pretty much. I mean, I was let. I was sent. I wasn't sent home, but the doctor was like, oh, you have um, Medicaid, and um, to get an MRI done, it's very expensive. Do you have insurance? I mean, I was like, what? Do you work in a billing department? Because I worked in a billing department, and that's not your job. Your job is just to take care of me medically and make sure that I'm not going to die and get home to my three kids. The billing department is the one that's responsible for making sure that you get paid. And yes, I do have insurance. And like, he just kept triggering me and triggering me, which was making my condition worse. And, um, like, I even told him at that point, too. I was like, you're just making my suicidalness even worse. I was like, you don't even know how to talk to a person. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Can I get another doctor? There's no other doctors. I'm the only one. I was like, well, I'm going home. I was like, because basically you're telling me that you're not doing nothing for me. You haven't even looked at me. You haven't listened to my heart rate. You haven't even checked my blood pressure. Nothing. You basically just let the door open. You basically just judged me. Or like whatever you decided to do because you thought you weren't going to get paid or whatever the case may be. Meanwhile, every doctor that I have seen for this has been paid with no questions, no arguments. My wheelchair has been approved. I'm just waiting for it to arrive. Like, nobody has had any issues with getting paid. And this asshole, right, lets me leave the hospital. And I clearly told him, you make me want to leave here and go wrap my damn car around a motherfucking tree with the way you just treated me. And I'm, I came here for help. And I hobbled my ass out because I could barely walk. All the way to my damn van. Right? All the way to my damn van. And I'm walking in socks. Because my legs and my feet were so swollen that I couldn't fit them in no shoes. My damn van wouldn't start. 
damn van would have started. Yes, God really thought that my thoughts weren't just thoughts that day. Because I had to sleep in that van from 2 something in the morning when I walked out that emergency room until 8 something in the morning when the neighbor had her sister come and jump the car for me so that I can make it back home just a couple of hours later end up in my house having to call 911. Babe, I was walking co up. End up having to call 911. All right, you got to wait a second. Call 911 to end up in the hospital. And I clearly said, no Riverside. I left there this morning. They didn't do shit. So I need to go to Santerra. And that's where I ended up at. Like, that shit was scary. So when I say I be having thoughts, like they be there consistently, especially when somebody makes me feel so little. I already dealt with so much emotional abuse by my egg donor that the emotional abuse is one thing I can't really deal with. Emotional abuse really takes a big toll on me. Like, emotional abuse to me is worse than physical abuse because your scars will heal. You feel me? They'll heal. They'll seal. They'll close up. They'll have scars. They'll be there, but they'll close. When you have emotional scars, you can have scars you don't even know you have until somebody threw salt on it and then all of a sudden they popped up. Like, and they never heal. They they may close or they may seem like they heal, but then they don't, they're not, they're not healed. Like they don't always heal. They don't, they don't necessarily actually are healed. And that's the one thing I hate about emotional wounds. That's the one thing I hate about emotional wounds. I can't stand, I can't stand emotional wounds. I prefer physical wounds over emotional wounds because of that. My, Jeannie, Jeannie's hiding out of camera, y'all. I'm coming in. She don't want to be seen. Podcasters, I never met my my crazy neighbor. Who am I talking to? Well, I got YouTube here, my podcast here. Oh, hi, podcast. And she's <laughs> right about emotional wounds. I'd rather have them over. Physical? physical. No, I'd, no, rather, I'd rather have physical, physical over, over emotional. emotional. Because emotional, you can have an emotion. You can have emotional wounds and not know it. And then somebody does something to you and throws salt on it, and all of a sudden that wound it's opens up. Yeah, and you're like, BB what the fuck? Correct. And then you heal. Yeah, you got a scar. You know where the scar came I from. I preferred negative one. Correct. But okay. if if anything happens, I'd rather have physical than emotional. Because emotional, that, that joint, what? <coughs> that joint. And then it, op- it can open up. But like you can heal from it. You can heal, and they can close. But anything can happen, and they can open it right back up. They can open it right back up. Like, it ain't never been closed. Like, you ain't never here. Bring you right back to day one. Leave your ass to sitting over here like, what the hell happened? Where is she, Nana? She was looking for Nana, so she went to her door first. I know, I saw her look confused. Like, wait, I see somebody over there. She's like, why are you at my door? This supposed to be in that door over there. Come on. Come on. Come here. 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 Come and I was like, do you work in the billing department? Because I used to work in the billing department. And the last time I checked, doctors are just worried about the patients and their health. The billing department worries about getting you paid. Yeah. And then I remember when I started um, venting in Spanish because I didn't want to cuss them out in English. So I started venting in Spanish, but I was praying to God literally in Spanish to give me the patience to not like... Go off on him. Correct. Go off on him. You don't need to be rude and nasty... I said, excuse me? First of all, one, I'm de-escalating myself by praying to God. In Spanish, my native language. Can I not de-escalate myself? 
Because you are triggering me. And I'm already not in a good mental health space. I'm already suicidal. You know they let me leave? You didn't get your memoir? Not that night. That's how I ended up in the ambulance the next day. That's how I, and they let me leave telling them that I told the doctor, you, you, you right now, the way you made me feel in this situation right now, you didn't even touch me to check me, but you worried about coins. Not once did you check my blood pressure, hear my heart, my lungs are nothing, but you're worried about coins. I said, the way that you just made me feel, sir, you made me feel so worthless. You make me want to get in my van and go wrap my van around a fucking tree. I said, I don't want services no more. They let me walk out. You know they weren't supposed to. Wow. I was supposed to get in a 72 um, hold. Oh, yeah. Because I said I wanted to go wrap myself around the tree. They let me walk out. That's crazy. They let me walk out just to Get end up, up in an ambulance. I was leaving. I need to borrow your mom. Yeah. But, yep. Emotional scars, y'all. They ain't no joke. Definitely no joke. They be kicking people in the ass. But anyways, that's why I had to take this little mini vacation away from any. Oh, I want hot coffee. That's why I was asked though checking. I want hot coffee. I had we had to take it off. The kids had to too. Like Stan kept asking to go to the park, and I felt bad not being able to take it to the park because we don't have no car. Like, you know, and, and being in the same property every day, all day, like, that's, that's, that's depressing. Like, I can see the colors are definitely not the, the most brightening colors. I mean, it's always dark unless we open the shades. You have to have, like, 50,000 lamps just for it to be bright. Um, so it was, it was, it was good. And then, top that off, we got a DoorDash. So, that was a bonus, too, like... The kids like to go door dashing. They actually like to door dash, so we got to make some good money. Um, we got we at least made half of what we paid on the car back. So that was up. I mean, we didn't really. I mean, we did it for profit, yes, but we also did it to be able to do something since we didn't really have money to like be spending, you know, sightseeing. I guess you could say. Um, we always we do what we always did: go to the park and go to the library. That's one of the two things the kids always love to do, the park and the library. And if my kids are going to ask for anything, they're always going to ask for the park and the library. Then the two things they're always going to ask for, the park and the library. Hey, when you get a chance, I'm going to talk to you. Okay, don't get smoky. Okay. Oh. We got the hookup here. Oh. So I say about putting right there. Over there, when you do four loads instead of just little loads, get them done and over with. Okay, does that sound good? Yeah, because I got to get it out today or tomorrow. It's gonna be tomorrow. I ain't doing it today. Okay, I'm hurt. Okay, uh, I don't know. All right, I need a mop, please. That's fine. Mom, yes, there's somebody out there. All right, I'm gone. Mom, you want I'll wash it out. Get Chloe. Your mom is getting ready to have you. There's nerves right now. Look what she just did. Huh? Look what Bill just did. Bill's got it. Don't tear it up. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. So apparently, like, I just have to be full of cigarette ash now. Hmm? So I'm, I just have to be full of cigarette ash now. Like, it's not gonna go, you're not wiping it. It's not going nowhere. I'm trying to get the dust that's on top off first so I can do the 100. Yo, I swear. I just, I can't, yo, I can't. Mommy, there's someone out there. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I swear to God, yo, every time I try to stay positive, man. It's like, just work my patience. Just work it. Why don't you just...
Local not right now, please. Local, they're just saying out right now. And she's going to tap me. And she's going to tap me like I'm trying not to spaz on her. And she's really just going to keep on nagging me like I'm Where trying not to spaz on her. I am trying so hard not to spaz. You drop a whole ashtray on me because you're not paying attention to what you're doing. A whole ashtray. And you're just persistent on doing what you want to do. What you want to do. Not no sorry, not no oops, not no my bad, not no nothing. I got a whole leg full of ashes. And knowing how much I hate being tapped, I can't stand being tapped. She's still persistently attempting to tap. can't win for losing I try to stay in a positive mind for him as long as I can but what do you do when sometimes you kids do worse than me what do you do when sometimes what you love the most is also your damn enemy because all they worried about is they self and they don't understand how badly they're affecting your mentals I wish I could just just 24 hours just to breathe for a sec just for a minute that's it just 24 hours and I know I can't even do that because I'm so used to them being around nagging me that then I don't know what to do with myself but everybody else gets time Or appreciated would be nice. Appreciated would definitely be a plus. That would definitely be awesome. But a child is not going to give you what they don't see other people give you. These whole pants have to get washed. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come on, Michael. You're about to hit your head into the food container. take these off. I have to take these off. Look, look, I, I, if I do that, like, you, I have, I'm gonna have to get a washcloth. Move away from me, please. I'm not gonna say it again. Like, I'm not happy with, I don't care if it's summer outside. I don't care.
hate that she keep taking me out of pocket, man. I keep making so much progress. And she keep taking me out of pocket, man. I so hate that she keep taking me out of pocket, man. or YouTube or whatever I posted. About giving people the power over your feelings and your emotions. And this little one right here, she already worked them yesterday really bad, really bad, really bad. Excuse me, Rafa. And here she goes again. This is why I can't ever de-escalate. This is exactly why I can't ever de-escalate. We, she knows what she's doing, though. And that's the part that kills me the most, yo. This is the part that gets me the most with her. She knows what she's doing. Like, I understand she's three. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of that, because that little girl is smart as fuck. She bright as hell. She's smart, so she know what she be doing. And then she takes me out of pocket, bro. And she takes me out of pocket, and then she keeps poking and keeps poking. And then want to cry wolf later when I explode. <laughs> That's not fair to me. I don't want to be out of pocket. That's not who I'm trying to be anymore. <sighs> she just fucked up, yo. Like, she just don't listen, man. Then I end up being the bad guy. Then I'm the one that's always feeling so damn wrong and guilty. Because I don't want to be what I had growing up. Because I don't want to be that person. I'm sorry, y'all, but my OCD, I can't stay with these pants on. And all these ashes on me, and I'm already in the middle of recording with y'all. I'm not about to be doing no cut, edit, cut, edit, cut, edit. So I'm improvising and I'm gonna make it work because I have a mom with three kids and I have to multitask and do things and figure them out on my own, and that's just life. And no, just, just make it work, make it work, just make it work, just make it work. And like I said, I got ashes all down my leg. On my actual leg, not just the pants. I was good. Well, I was off the property. Look. Shut up. Look. Wow. Told you. Hands have to come on. Just give me the ride. I didn't see that part. I ain't that crippled. I just can't do the rest of it. (sighs) But my OCD, I was not sitting here. And no pair of pants. I had a whole bunch of ashes that fell on it. You don't want to know that the ashes is on my leg, too. Like, I look. (sighs) 
But anyway, sorry you guys for that whole meltdown and um spasm moment. But I just yesterday she was at it all day, 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 just so persistent. Yeah. I'm gonna really need this team though. And or not. Is that a rag to actually clean people with? No. Well, yes. So then, um, this was all persistent yesterday. Like, did, did you pick up all the little roaches? Yes, except for one. Well, oh. Three, that's she was all persistent. Can I get the? I got it. She was all persistent, persistent. Like, yo, not trying to hear nothing. She was, she was just take up taking the seatbelt off. No, even Delano, yo, even Booker with his ADHD wasn't like that. He would we just never buckled him. Let's just put it like that. He stayed in his car seat. He didn't move. He just didn't want to be buckled. He just had a thing with being confined. We had a mutual understanding. Stanford PD with me had a mutual understanding. I mean, when I got pulled over, I never got tickets. They would talk to him. You know what I'm saying? I explained them what diagnosis is. I explained their diagnosis is. I explained how imperative I, you know, I broke down to the, to him, to them, how I explained to him, you know what I'm saying, about car accidents and the law and, you know what I'm saying, the police and I explained he knows how to take himself out of every, every, um, type of car seat restraint that there is. And, um, he sits he can't get it no further, girl. I mean, if I could. I didn't see your Um. Um. Like, he just sits, like, you know what I'm saying? They talk to him every single time. I mean, when he got a little older, he started, you know, getting better at it. But while he was younger, it was just hard. But when he got older, he got better. Now he obviously wears it. But back then, nah, it was a fight. It was a fight. Like, it was a struggle to get that boy to be like, sit, man, that boy, he was Houdini. Houdini. With them darn car seats and them damn seatbelts. He was like, you that holding me down. Ain't no holding me down. But, um. Yeah, we took them days off. We enjoyed it. Do <laughs> some money on the kids eating out. Since they don't really get to eat out. Just let them have their time, and like I said, we door dashed. They like door dashing. It just it was nice to get off of the property, like just having the mental freedom of being able to get off of the property. That was just awesome. That was definitely awesome. And it allowed me to do some deep soul searching. Some actual thinking, not in a negative way though, like in a positive way. Which I needed because I was getting too many negative thoughts coming my way. So I needed more positive ones. But, yeah. Kobo got a new collar. She finally got her tag. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, I got Booker's report card. Oh, snap. Oh, where is it? I believe it was all A's. He got all A's on his report card. We're back to getting A's again. So he's back on track with all positive feedback my teachers so that's what's up so he's back on his um a game 
Like they're saying, he's working on being organized, taking pride on his work. Like, he's doing good. He's doing real good in the new school. And I'm really, really freaking proud of him. And honestly, he really is doing good because he's working on his defiancy part. Like, he's trying to own up. He's really trying to own up. I can say that. He's not, he's really not trying to be as difficult as he was before. The door, y'all. Deva. Hold on, Lyrica. Hold on, Lyrica. Sorry, y'all. I had to pull up my pants before we could open the door. You know, the door on the other side. But, um, thank God I got out. So, Biva is trying to get go again. This damn puppy in this damn door, yo. Man, I can't wait till we get our own place. Hopefully, with a backyard so she can just run around and play and be happy and be free. Because I know she's tired of being cooped up in here, too. I know she's tired of being cooped up. She just wants to be able to run around. You know, just run around. Run around and be a puppy. Like, I feel bad that she's cooped up in here. Maybe the next time we get to get a rental, find a dog park so we can take her. And let her, you know, run around and play. But, um, but yeah. Just wanted to catch y'all up on what we've been doing. Didn't mean to have a little meltdown with Lyrical, but I've already been on edge with Lyrical since yesterday, and she just won't give me a break for a sec. Like, she's just on me, on me, like, she's been on me since yesterday morning, on me, like, I don't know what is going on with her, but, like, on me, she won't give me a chance at all, I hope that, um, y'all done had a blessed day, though, hope y'all done made today count, made yesterday jealous, cause tomorrow is not promised to anyone, I know I got work I got to do. Been missing in action. I got to get into my life coaching. I got to get my life back on track. I don't let the pain take too much. And, yeah, that's not good. So, got to get back on track. Um, But, yeah. All right, y'all. Uh, deuces.